In this short demonstration, we're going to show you how to create a very simple form in Microsoft Word, convert that, convert that form into a PDF file, and then use Adobe Acrobat Pro version 10 to have the form converted into a fillable form that can be distributed to end users and allow them to fill it out. So typically on a form, um, you may have a person's name, you might have a person's date of birth, and I'm just using the underline tools here. Um, your form will probably be much more complex and much more different. You might have a question, and you have your question text, and then you might have a line for the answers. Not all the time are you going to have lines for the answers, but sometimes you will. If you do in Word, it makes it much easier for Adobe Acrobat to pick that up. You also might have some checkboxes um, inside of Word. Uh, okay, so you might have some checkboxes in Word as well, uh, maybe with some of the legacy forms in Microsoft Word, or maybe even using some of the new ActiveX controls. I'm just going to go ahead and put some legacy forms in there, um, and this might be male, female. And then maybe you have the ethnicity question or some kind of other drop down where in Microsoft Word you actually use the drop down menu and you add items here um, for um, maybe white, African American, Hispanic. So once you have your different choices here, if you actually lock the form, it'll be a, a pull down menu. Now you'll notice um, Adobe Acrobat probably won't handle this one very well, but um, we'll show you how you'll need to reconvert it. Um, so from there, I think we've got a pretty simple basic form. Um, so what we're going to do now real quick is just convert this over to a PDF file. And in Word, you've got the Save As option for 2010, and you can just save that as a PDF. Um, there's other ways to do it. There's add-on menus and whatnot, but I'm just going to do a basic conversion to PDF, and I'm going to call this my fillable form. And I just threw that on my desktop, and now I have this form in Adobe. So if you've already got your form in Adobe, or maybe you've scanned it in, um, you can start off at this point using the, the easy tools in Acrobat X and allow um, Acrobat to do all of the hard work for you in placing all the form fields you need on here. All you got to do from within Acrobat X, and this is Pro, this is version 10, and I, a lot of the menus changed around from version 9. All you have to do is click on the Tools menu, come down to Forms, and then just click Create. Then you follow the on-screen instructions. I can use an existing form, I can scan a paper form, or I can create one online if I want to. So I'm just going to use this existing form that I have, because most of the time that's what we're using anyway. Um, I'm going to use the current document. I'm not going to import a file from a system. I'm going to click OK, and then Acrobat lets me know, hey, now you're in form editing. And I say OK, and you see it went in here and it placed all of these form fields on there real nicely for us. And we can click on any of these form fields and get into the properties, and I can see it automatically placed a text field here for me. And that's really what I want, a text field, just a field for someone to fill out the name. Same thing here. I can go to each one of these if I want to. Now on the check boxes, you'll notice it actually detected that this is a radio button, either male or female. So in other words, when I select one, it'll unselect the other. And that's usually how it'll work. And with radio fields, they actually have to have the exact same name. Um, and it puts in undefined. You can put these in here if you want to, male and female and tooltip. Just make sure that they actually have the same name. And we could preview it real quick and see what it looks like. So if I select male, uh, it selects it nicely. Um, if I unselect it, it selects females because these two have the exact same name. But you'll notice it didn't really do much with the ethnicity field. So now what? Um, well, we may have to go and use some of the other tools um, inside of Acrobat in order to get that to work properly. So one of them is the text editing tool. So I'm going to close form editing. I'm going to come over here to content. And I'm going to edit the text. And it's gone through now. It's found it. I'm just going to get rid of white. So you can do little minor edits in PDF without having to go back in your original form just by clicking that edit document text there. 
I'm kind of done with that now, so I'm going to go back to my form. And normally, um, and it used to be in previous version of Acrobat, you had to go through here and you had to had to uh, create ind individual form fields. Um, so it did a lot of hard work for us, but we could still do that. And we just, um, oops, we're not going to create. We're going to go ahead and edit because we already did. It's prompting us to save it. And we'll just keep it fillable form and we'll replace our existing file. And now it's kind of giving us sort of the older look in versions 8 and 9. So I can go through here on ethnicity and I can go ahead and add um, a drop down list right here. And you'll notice these nice crosshairs so I can place it correctly. There's ethnicity. Maybe I want to make it a little bit wider. Okay, it already has the drop down there. And I can give this a name. And this is, this screen right here is the same. Um, for for all of the different fields and the tabs and whatnot will change just based on what you need. Um, so you might, for a tooltip, say, please choose your ethnicity. That'll just display on the screen for somebody if it's maybe a more complicated question. Um, you can do that. And here's the appearance. Um, the fill color, I'm just going to say no color. I think it looks a lot nicer, especially if you, if you have pre-existing forms, to say no fill color, um, or I'm sorry, no border color and no fill color. And it's always nice, especially with text fields, to have the font size be automatic um, based on what the end user uh, wants to enter. What that'll do, especially with real large text fields, is if the user runs out of space, it'll automatically make the font size a little bit smaller. Okay? If you have a form where you really want the, the data entered in it to look a little bit different, you could actually change the color, maybe to a light gray or something, and even change the font size. Um, there's items here, and since this is a drop down, we need to add the items there. So we can add the different ethnicities um, African American, Hispanic. I can add those, and we don't need it to check spelling. Um, you can also allow the end user to enter their own text, so if they don't fit into any of these, maybe they can choose other, um, or maybe you just want to add a value called other. Okay? And. Now, there's different actions that you can do on any of the form fields. There's different formatting that you can do. Um, if, it's, if it's special kinds of text, like if it needs to be a percentage or maybe it's a date and time. Um, if someone enters in the long date, it'll maybe reformat it so you have some consistency in dates. There's also some validation that you can do. Um, if, it's a, if it's a numeric va uh, field, you can do a, a value that's in a certain range, but right now we're on, actually on a pull-down menu, so that's grayed out for us, so it's kind of helpfully doing that. Um, there's also some custom validation scripts, and um, a lot of the user manuals um, and Adobe's website has a lot of information about how to, how to create those scripts. And if it's a calculated value, you could actually have it kind of calculate several fields out. But this is um, just simple forms. And that's it. Um, that's all we have to do. So we're going to go ahead and close the form editing. Um, there are there is the ability to distribute and track, but that's more advanced. Um, there's some other tasks that you can do, including highlighting the form fields, clearing them. Um, you can edit individual fields if you want to, and and change the different tab numbers for each one. Um, so. Um, you can see here tabs it's going to tab like this so the user is going to go from here hit tab they'll bounce over here then they'll bounce down here so if that's not the right order that you want um, you can redefine those tabs as well so that's kind of a basic overview of how forms work now from there there's a couple things that you really need to do um, once your form is there you might want to kind of type in and just make sure it looks the way you want with the font that you want um, maybe you don't like the way this behaves with the three lines um, you can choose your, the different ethnicity choices that we had there previously. Um, but one of the things that you really need to keep in mind um, is that, I'm going to go ahead and clear that form so it's nice and blank, is that for end users, most of the time end users or people filling out your form are only going to have the free version of Adobe Reader in order to fill out the form. So if you don't do this last step, that user wouldn't be able to save the form, they'd just be able to type it and print it out. So if you want them to be able to type it and print it out, um, then you don't need to do this step. Um, if, you, if the end users are going to need to save the form, maybe an email it to somebody, it's real important you do this step. So click on File, go down to Save As, and there's this Reader Extended PDF option. These top two are a little bit different, so maybe if you're sending the form to, for your boss to review, um, or someone else to review before it's finalized, you might want to enable commenting in it. 
Um, you might want to enable adding different text into it for um, areas that aren't fillable forms. But for our purposes, we're just creating a fillable form and we want the end users to have a file that they can um, edit the form and save it in Reader. So we're just going to choose this Enable Additional Features. Oops, had that little dialog pop, box pop up there. Um, so I'm going to go Save As and I'm going to say Reader Extended PDF and I'm going to say Enable Additional Features and it's going to tell you what features that it's going to enable. You can look at the properties of the document from the file menu if you want to change that. And I'm going to save it now. The first form I had is fillable form. I'm going to call this one um, end users. Okay, just with a new file name. That end user file is the one that I want to send out to other people for them to be able to fill it out. And in a nutshell, that's how you create a fillable form in Adobe Acrobat Pro the newest version, which is X. Thanks for watching.